Hey everybody, time for a new knowledge nugget. This one is pertaining to facial recognition. We've just updated to 13.3 and there have been huge changes and improvements. Just watch. The first improvement that I want to show you would be that you can now rerun faces on any data set that you've already parsed. So if you look right here at the top of your screen, you'll see facial recognition. Now this gives us the chance to run again. Why would we run again? Because specific categories have been added to facial recognition. And most importantly, masks have been added to the accessory category. Not only masks, but glasses, hats, reading glasses, or if there are no accessories whatsoever, it will fall under the category of none. Now I've yet to run this one with the new updates for the accessories. So let's run and see what output we get. Okay, now that the reprocessing is finished, you can see under the accessories here, we now have glasses, hats, and reading glasses. But don't forget, we also have masks, which these days, that's pretty important to have, don't you think? Okay, now let's have a look at the search section. You may recognize something new here, face sets. This is a big one. This is where we can upload a new data set and compare it to those faces that we just processed. This means that if you have a file folder full of known subjects, you can now import them right here and compare it to your data set that you just parsed and ran facial recognition on. So let me walk you through this process. I'll show you that under list managers, you can now see face sets. You can now choose to run face sets. So we are going to search a specific face set against the, da the data set that we already have in Detective. So let's do that. So I'm going to click the face sets manager and I'm going to add a new set. And as you can see, I already have a set in here waiting. I can use this set throughout this database. It's actually a set that I imported to compare against another device in the same case. So to create your new set, add a new set and then choose to add faces. Then choose the images of the faces that you would like to add to this face set. Now, as you can see, subject A is a collage of many faces. Now, what Detective will do is break these faces out into their own templates. So if we have a collage of 15 faces, we'll actually end up with 15 images, each with their own algorithm. So I'm gonna go ahead and import these two and you see here that the collage that we imported has been broken down into seven images and then we've got that one last subject B image. Now it's time to search this brand new face data set against our cell phone that we've parsed. And while it's searching, let's talk about this right here, minimal similarity. If your algorithm hits at 10%, it's going to be there. 9%, you won't see it, right? So you can push that up to a higher percentage level if you need it. All right, now that we've completed our search, let's scroll down and have a look at our results. You can see that this is labeled as a face. A face is the algorithm that facial recognition created from you running faces inside of the device. So this is one of the known algorithms. The new set contains a brand new algorithm from the new face set that we just imported. And here we have a match. It says this face on the new set matches one of the images from within the device at an 82.5% similarity. Now let's open up our face sets manager again and let me show you one more thing. From within this manager, you can save a face set and you can see the file extension that it gives an OFS. Now you can share this set with anyone that has Detective. They can import it into Detective 
and use the face set to run against their database as well. For more information on Oxygen Forensic Detective and for training opportunities, please contact us.